libertarianism that calls itself the left, calls itself the right, on the universities, calls itself the left mainly, that is incredibly oppressive and everyone should stand with him. And even if they end up running him out of there down the road, he'll have a best-selling book in it and will become a dissident professor. But this is what freedom is all about. This is what the animating struggle is all about. And it's rewarding to do the right thing. And even if doors close, bigger doors, in my experience, will open. Or if people don't come to his aid and others' aid, the great corruption, the great stagnation that we already see spreading like a disease will intensify. And you were speaking about how just knowing the knowledge I know from 20 years of this in business, and I've done it some in business on the side, you name it, just incredible success. I mean, off record, it's been off record. I've made a big deal about it. I've, I've consulted for some major corporations just to see what it would be like over the years and, and even some major uh, production firms. I mean, it's, I've been in a movie produced by George Clooney. I was a major consultant on that about future tyrannies to upgrade uh, Philip K. Dick's uh, film Scanner Darkly. But I'm not going to get into a lot of it because I've signed non-disclosures. At the level I'm at, even the establishment, not as a payoff, but wants to come and see what's your view on this for a perspective because their own minions are so compartmentalized, they don't get it. Just the not, see, only a very small group of less than 6,000, uh, the Kissinger group, and I agree with it, 6,000 technocrats, that's even low, mid, and high level running, only a few hundred at the top. And so they don't want this knowledge known. And what the professors reverse engineering, and what I've reverse engineered from my perspective, doesn't mean I have all the answers, will bring them down. But separately, it can take the educations you've got that are only one spectrum, you expand and, and basically square that spectrum, and then actually you're honest with yourself about how the real systems work, start reading elite publications where they're trying to get their own technicians to understand how it works. It is the most valuable education you can get. And the minute people understand there's real knowledge they've told you doesn't exist that's, that exists right behind the curtain, in all the books they've written, all their admissions, you will then have the fire politically, economically, socially, culturally of Prometheus that they're claiming they're selling real liberalism. They're the opposite, folks. Thomas Jefferson's a liberal, as I say every day. Big Sis is not. This professor I would call a real liberal. Uh, okay, uh, Barack Obama is not. Boehner calls himself a conservative. The guy's a monster. He's a betrayer. And I, I'm sorry I'm ranting here, Professor, but what you said is why they're after you because people know they're going into dead ends. We show them, hey, we're not making the maps of the mind. There are no maps. Experience it for yourself. It's over for them. Uh, the real renaissance, as you said, with this middle class that's left could be the detonation center for worldwide liberty to the stars. And, 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 and that's what I want to see. I want 100 years from now for our children and great-grandchildren and progeny to be doing incredible things of their own free will. And, and, and that's what I desire, and that's why I hate these technocrats so much, because they would shudder the mind. They would shudder perception. They would shudder our potential so they could rule us. I mean, the, 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 these people are disgusting. They are absolutely disgusting. And in my classes, I tell my students, I said, I am here not just to instruct you, but I'm here to honor your parents who sacrificed so much in order that you fill this seat here at this esteemed university. It's an homage to their struggles as immigrants, as refugees, as fifth or sixth generation Americans. And there's a third constituency besides you that's sitting in this classroom, and that is your progeny, your unborn children who will benefit from your learning uh, acquired at this institution. So I have three constituencies. And by the way, in Japanese language, uh, there's a character, uh, it's, it's sensei, and in Chinese it's sifu, but it means um, uh, there's a notion of generativity and that which comes before. So it's that interlocking generativity and um, that, that, that connection with future generations that you speak of often that I am trying to communicate to the classroom and uh, to the students in the classroom. And in that way, they can connect what they're learning from what's before them with uh, the future as well as with the past. That's, that's one of my main pedagogical strategies. Well, they're obviously scared of what you're doing. And as you said, once the genie's out of the bottle, 
The genie is out of the bottle. It's not going back. I agree. It, you can't unhear information. You can't unhear the truth. You can't unlearn it. It's uh, the only, you know, if they get rid of me, the, uh, more people are going to be rolling forward. And I think my appearance here is going to embolden a lot of my colleagues to step forward. Most of them are scared. Most of them are frightened. Most of them want to uh, retire on a pension that won't be there when it's time for them to go. So they well, have that's to it. We either fight now, stand up now, or we're going to lose everything. We fight now. This, this, uh, we've drawn a line in the sand, and and um, it's do or die right here and now. Well, I want to come back in the final segment here, Professor, and I want to invite you back soon to get into the specifics of the immigrant programming, the LB, you know, all that programming that's going on, sure. uh, uh, and, and just look at every little angle of this from a different perspective, so we mm -hmm. can hopefully get people thinking for themselves. I'll do a little bit of overdrive to go to Matt. Uh, and George and Nathan and folks that have been holding. Uh, but our guest, Professor Daryl Hamamoto, uh, joins us right now. He is already being persecuted at UC Davis by the Thought Police. Hey, this is Steve Sanchez. Worried about the Wall Street Casino? Yeah, me too. Wondering when the stock market is going to collapse? You probably want answers, but you know you can't trust the global elite. Well, my good friend Brett Kitchen, best-selling author, has created a DVD set called The Millionaire Black Box. And for a limited time, you get free access. Call 1-800-259-3131. Find out how the global elite invests without having to deal with the global elite themselves. 1-800-259-3131. 3131 1-800-259-3131. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX that's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Hey, folks, this is Larry Crisp for BabyBoomerBackupPlan.com. I don't have to tell you, this economy sucks. Unlike the political elite and Wall Street bankers, you know that debts don't disappear and bailouts have big consequences. Stock and real estate market bubbles can pop at any moment and evaporate most or all of your retirement savings. Folks, we're in the weakest economy of our lifetime and it's likely to get much worse. Virtually zero sectors of the economy are hiring and workforce participation is at record lows. And I'm here to tell you, this may be the best thing that could happen to you if you move decided and develop a backup plan immediately. Proportionately, more millionaires were created during the Great Depression than at any time in history, and history is about to repeat itself. Get my free report at babyboomerbackupplan.com or call 888-507-8789. That's 888-507-8789. A 30-day GMO-free emergency food supply for only $99 at 30dayfoodsupply.com. You can purchase Oregon Trail Foods' one-month supply of high-quality, nutritious, and healthy emergency meals. For less than $100, these vegetarian meals are naturally high in fiber, carbs, and protein, and they're packed with oxygen absorbers in Mylar pouches. They're completely free of any artificial flavors and colorings, have a 20-year shelf life, and take up to 70% less space than number 10 cans. They even offer a glue free option. Oregon Trail Foods and 30dayfoodsupply.com. Keep prices low by buying directly from the producers in Oregon and then passing the savings to you. Purchase a 30-day 90-serving emergency food supply for only $99 this month and $10 ships your entire order. Visit the website at 30dayfoodsupply.com or call 541-229-0010. That's 30dayfoodsupply.com where they make preparedness affordable. 30dayfoodsupply.com. Filming on a sidewalk somewhere, and cops will get out and bow up and walk over like they're trying to scare us. And I'll just literally laugh at them and say, you know, do we live in an authoritarian country? Why are you acting menacing to me? And then they'll usually start backing off. But if you cower or you blow up at them, you're going to get beat up. And that's most police I run into honor the First Amendment now. But more and more, more and more they come after you. And on average, it is the, quote, left-wing controlled cities 
that are, where the police are becoming the most aggressive and vicious because they're not left wing. The system is using left cover to get away with everything they're doing. I mean, obviously there's real issues with people persecuting gay folks. Obviously there's real issues with immigrants being treated horrible and exploited. They are exploited. We talk about Latin Americans all day because that's the majority, but they're super hardworking people. Now Obama wants folks that aren't. People that weigh, let me grab them, 600 pounds, folks, and weigh 6X underwear to go directly on the welfare system, directly to be controlled. This is a total takeover, and it's our final segment. I want to invite him back whenever he wants to come next week that, you know, to, to really drill into what happened to Japanese Americans and, and, and break down that model, then another interview about how they're trying to politicize people's sexual preference and trying to create a political underclass they control, um, but also a political donating class, get into the whole situation with the radicalization of Hispanics. Uh, but Professor Daryl Hamamoto, in closing, what are other points you'd like to make about where all this is going, what you think the ruling establishment is going to do? Because it's like two runaway trains headed for a collision. Well, at the University of California, there is a program, they call it uh, Hispanicization, and what they're doing right now is staffing uh, key administrative, upper-level managerial administrative posts with primarily Latinas, not necessarily Latinos, men, it's, it's the women. And you're going to see in the popular culture a lot of more uh, Latina spokespersons for different agencies in order uh, to get us acclimated to uh, oppression uh, from this um, emerging group that's being set up by the globalists. By the way, one of the, the, uh, the blind spots that, that people uh, of, of, um, of any ethnicity, really, is that they think that the United States of America, it's, it's a system of governance, this society is going to be far more humane under Latino oppression as opposed to Anglo oppression. And as we know from a study of history, it doesn't really work out that way. I mean, look at Mao Zedong oppressing his fellow Han people, people of the same racial stock. I mean, that is the height of it is he. And I think if there's one single area that uh, has contributed to the silence of my, my uh, colleagues uh, in academia, it's the fact that their firm belief that a, per a minority person is inherently going to be more fair to them and give them a, a, square, a fair deal. Now, that, that whole uh, fallacy has been invalidated by Barry Sotoro, a.k.a. Uh, Barack Hussein Obama. So this time around, they're going to give us a, a woman with a twist. Uh, or someone from the GLBT community to see if they can gain that, that same strategy. This time around, though, we're a lot more smart. And we're not going to, we won't be fooled again, to paraphrase the great English poet Pete Townsend. Well said. And it, it really is scary that it's open. But if you go back to the Roman slavery, again, they would have, it was white women then, mainly German slaves, French slaves, called Gauls at the time that they would bring the women in to be the oppressors of the slave men and would say, you take care of them, keep them in line, we won't kill them. And it was the same thing with black communities here. And now they're going to set women up in a fake feminism over men. Again, it, it's just, it, history repeats itself. It's imperial controlled. And it's directly targeting men because men will end up wanting to be free statistically more. So the men have to be gelded. That's why most horses you get and ride are female. It's just stallions give you a problem. It's a targeting of men, really, is what it is. Nothing against women. It just is a targeting of men by a hyper male globalist elite. Thank you, Professor. Amazing interview. You Thank are you, listening Alex. To GCN. Can't wait to talk to you again, sir. You're amazing. Uh, all right. We're going to do a little bit of overdrive for your phone calls. I apologize. We'll get to them. Stay with us. I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I just received my Male Vitality about three days ago, and I must say that is good stuff. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality 
Vitality formula. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. I jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day. I look forward to waking up and taking my Super Male Vitality and get the day started. It's not just the Super Male Vitality. All the products at InfoWarsLife.com are simply amazing. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. Coast to coast, direct from Austin, you're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network.